a 330,000 pound McLaren Mercedes SLR. A car designed to be fast and comfortable. Exactly the qualities you need when you have to get across eight countries in a single day. You ready for this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Because as I see it, you're going to spend all day queuing and then all night in a nightclub on a car ferry dancing with lorry drivers. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. But then you... Yeah, what are you going to be doing? Driving, man. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. I have to say, I've got every confidence in this car. Yeah. In the car? Yes. In the driver, he's old, his hip's gone. Yeah. He'll never make it. <laughs> Can't believe we're doing this again. Well, I think we really should beat him this time. Yeah, I'm okay. going to run. <laughs> Heathrow to Oslo. I'm mad for doing this. Hello, Newcastle, please. Hello. Can you check your passport? Is the, is the flight delayed? No, there's no delay on the flight. What sort of aeroplane no, no. is it? 737. 737. Is it a 737-400? Stop Frank it, Whitney? please stop it. <laughs> Funny, sitting here, it's impossible to tell, really, that I'm in one of the most powerful road cars ever made. Till I put my foot down, of course, then... Yes, now, you, now it's... Yes. See, the SLR was designed so you could cruise to the Nürburgring, listening to Terry Wogan, do a mind-blowing lap, and then cruise home again listening to Ken Bruce. What I can't bear about air travel is this business of getting here an hour early to check in, checking in, and then you just sit around wasting time. I'm in a hurry, there's nothing to do but buy rubbish you don't need. Yeah, you just made my point, mate. Right, it was time to set the Merck's sat-nav for Oslo. So there we are, it's saying it's 1,320 miles. Sat-nav, I reached the Channel Tunnel with time to spare. That's an Airbus A340. I don't care about the plane. Meanwhile, we'd only managed to get from the check-in to the steps of the plane. So, it's, it's a short flight to Newcastle. And yep. then we're on that boat. Yep. And we're on it for 17 hours. But he's got to drive, what is it, 1,300 miles? 1,300 miles. And it's going to have to stop, but yeah. we're going to be still be travelling while we're sleeping. We're travelling now. You know, part of me really actually wants that car to win, them, But yes. all of me wants, wants Jeremy, Jeremy to, to lose. lose. Obviously, you get a CD auto changer with the uh, SLR, and the office has very kindly provided me with two CDs. Teach yourself Norwegian. Fluent already. Uh, 101 classic speeches from Mrs. Thatcher. No, 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 no. And this lady's not returning. Welcome to Newcastle, where the record time is one o'clock. Hello. Hamster. Ah, how are you? Well, I'm not very well, mate. No, you're not very well. Well, you know the 1.30 train we're catching? Yes. No. You've missed your train? No, I haven't missed it. It just isn't... It doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't... How can it not exist? <laughs> They've given public transport one little chance, one little yeah. section of my journey, and it's let me down. Yeah, OK, you missed your train, but that... Okay. ...doesn't exist! We'll get one after two o'clock. We've got a bus to catch, so we're off. Bye! <laughs> 
sounded a bit cross towards the end of that. Then. How does it? How has he? So he's, he's missed it. He's missed yeah, the shuttle. Uh, he's got some preposterous excuse that there isn't. Well, he doesn't. It, They've demolished the terminal. Exactly. Just as I no, no, no. Everybody else is wrong. While Jeremy waited for his train, we lunged ahead and were now on our way to Newcastle's ferry terminal. Oh, good. Nice. Well, well, excellent. Come on! As soon as we get off this bus, yes. we get straight onto the big boat, yes. which is like a big party. You've really. built this thing up. No, I've been on it before. the fastest anyone has ever been in the Euro tunnel train. How tempting is it to... No, 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 grow up. So you've got like a band, cocktail pit, it's beautiful dancing girls everywhere. 17 hours of being forced to enjoy yourself. Yes. So do I just drive all the way to France then in the train? James. That's me. Hello there, James. Permission to come aboard, skipper. Stop it, James, please. <laughs> please have a nice stop. voyage. Can you make this boy walk the plane, please? Yeah, whatever, just get on the boat. Unbelievable. I still hadn't left England. <laughs> That's enough health and safety. Can we go now? Followed by an evacuation announcement. But Will you stop this whole nautical you're, term? You're, thing? That you are then abaft the beam, I think. Safety instructions are also displayed on the side panels. Oh, it's pretty large. Pretty blowy as well. If you ask to be piped aboard, I'm throwing it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to have it in French! Start the train! We've, we've got a touch of oversteer on the uh, princess. A bit here. of tail out action occurring. Doing that. No, he's turning his... it round. Yes, I realised. Which way's the sea? He's not turning it round, he's going about. It's going! Since we are in a box for half an hour, it's probably a good idea to explain why I chose the SLR. You see, most supercars are so brittle and so fragile that when they're being developed, they have to be transported everywhere like Hannibal Lecter. But with this, when they were cold weather testing it, they drove it up to the Arctic Circle, did the test, and then drove it all the way back again. Oslo should just be a Langlauf in the park. 